Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. This cold front is doing a number on us, going to feel much better as we progress through the remainder of our night and eventually into our Friday. So some clouds out there on satellite, the Storm Team Live Radar Network pinpointing a little bit of moisture, some downpours down across northwestern Maryland. They were in Chambers, I should say Franklin County to the southwest of Chambersburg just a bit ago, but really now we're starting to lose that lift into the northwest clearing out nicely as that dry air is starting to work in. We can see that cloud cover a little more so off to the east from our camera in downtown Lancaster, but if this was shifted to the northwest, we'd see a little more of that uh, bright sky as this cold front continues to work through the region. Look at the dew points compared to where they were even at lunchtime. If you were watching us at noon, we had some spots like in York and Lancaster in the upper 60s. Now we're down into the low 60s, even 50s for Carlisle and Harrisburg. Chambersburg still a bit elevated, currently sitting at 67, but we're all going to tap into this drier air through the remainder of the day. Temperatures right now for the most part in the middle 80s, 84 in Lebanon, 86 in Carlisle, 84 for those of you in Gettysburg, 82 heading northbound towards Sealands Grove. If you're getting out to Journey and Def Leppard, hey, any way you want it, that's the way you need it, right? It's going to be a great show. 82. Oh, there's some that just made me happy, guys. <laughs> I have only seen Journey once, but it was a great show. I'm sure this one won't be any different and with a Def Leppard combo, it's going to be great and the weather will be nicer 76 10 o'clock it should be a really nice show under the lights at hershey park stadium low to mid 80s for the rest of us stray shower still possible early it'll be less humid as a whole and that trend continues through the overnight we'll dip back into the low to mid 60s it'll be cool it'll be comfy with the help of that north to northwesterly breeze and then tomorrow back in the mid to upper 80s plenty of sunshine Higher pressure going to be fully in control as we end the work week. And that's what we'll see on predictor. We'll see a nice amount of sunshine through the rest of our evening, though. We can see that clearing still a little bit of cloud cover, maybe some of the upstairs energy trying to linger some of that cloud cover just a bit through late evening. But I think for the most part, we're dry. Can't completely rule out a spotty sprinkle, but chances are pretty slim. We continue to clear out the clouds through the overnight with the help of that north to eventually more northeasterly breeze. But overall, it's a cool breeze. It's a dry breeze. That's what we can hit home to you tomorrow, and that's going to leave us with a really pleasant Friday. No issues for the morning or the evening commutes here as we head through dinner time tomorrow. Notice the dew points. They continue to fall 50s through tonight, and we stay in the 50s, maybe even 40s in some of our northwestern neighborhoods through our day tomorrow. It'll feel wonderful with seasonable conditions, and even into our Saturday, we're still going to hang on to the comfy conditions. But with some ridging developing in the atmosphere, we are going to have that heat building once again. So it's kind of a glass half full setup. If you don't like the heat, it'll feel less humid, but temperatures are going to be on the rise throughout the remainder of the News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast. It'll be a little stickier on a Sunday. We'll have temperatures back into the uh, lower 90s, and that's really the story all the way through next week as the trend starts to become a little more unsettled. We're back in the low to mid 90s with the chance for more widespread showers and thunderstorms Wednesday into the latter half of next week there, Jerry. All right, thank you very much, TJ. Time now for.